Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number 6. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to show or hide your desktop application icons. And you might be wondering, well, what is the benefit of showing or hiding your application icons on your desktop? Well, there's two things that I can think of right now, and I'm pretty sure you can find other uses as well. But the main ones that I can think of is for one, if you're going to be doing a professional business presentation in front of a client, you probably don't want them to see all these desktop icons. So if you haven't had a chance to clean them up, you probably want to hide them for the time being. The other opportunity I think that you could use it for is if you have a little one running around that tends to touch your laptop touchpad, or if you have a desktop, in your case, it would be a mouse pad. So in either, either of those cases, you want to probably hide your desktop icons. And one, you want to hide it because you don't want your desktop icons to mysteriously move around or disappear if your little one has clicked on it and dragged it somewhere or hit the delete button somehow. You can prevent that by hiding your desktop icons. And in the case of the business presentation, you hide it so that your desktop looks really clean and professional. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and right click on your desktop and you're going to go to the option that says view. You're going to look for the option that says show desktop icons. So when you find the option that says show desktop icons, you'll see that it has a checkbox by it. And if you left click on it, it hides your desktop application icons away so that you don't see them. So it's a very quick way for you to hide everything away. But if you want to bring it back, you just simply right click on it, go to the view option, and then look for show desktop icons and left click it. So that allows you to quickly show and hide your desktop icons. If you have any questions, please shoot me a message on YouTube. If you think this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and embed and share our video. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.